Hi, I'm Diane from Mom Pop Pal. When we were getting ready to go to the Brandywine River Museum, I looked online to see what was available. And let me tell you, did I get an exciting surprise. I was so excited I could just hardly breathe. Check this out. It says, Guided Gallery Tours with Victoria Wyeth. She is the granddaughter of Andrew Wyeth. And in the very fine print, it says, Private Tours. So what you do is you send an email to the Brandywine River Museum to find out if she's available. Well, she wasn't available because she was on vacation. But they gave me her phone number in case I wanted to contact her directly. And you can bet your bottom dollar I did. And sure enough, she picked up the phone and said hello. And as luck would have it, she was available the next day for us to meet. And it was just like Christmas time. I was so excited I couldn't even hardly sleep the night before. It was so exciting. So the very next day, we met her at the Brandywine River Museum. This is our friend and hostess, Whitney Hoffman, with Victoria Wyatt. And this is Steve and I with Victoria. Victoria Wyatt is very much a national treasure. She is very much alive and she knows so much about her grandfather, Andrew, and what he thought and what he liked and what he didn't like. And she's just totally alive. You can check her out on YouTube to see how she uh, moves around and how exciting she is. And uh, I think she's very much like her grandfather. I never had courage enough to meet him. I thought, gee, wouldn't it be cool if I just went up and say, hi, Mr. Andrew Wyeth, I've admired you for many years and I really wanted to meet you. And after I got the opening sentence out, what would I say? Duh, I have nothing else to say, but I've read many books about him and he was quite the prankster. And uh, Victoria was telling us that uh, she used to be giving tours and he'd uh, come in and he'd take a, maybe a brush out of his pocket and he'd pretend to, to be touching up the pictures or something, you know, and he'd, he'd really get the tour going. And uh, I've heard other people talk about uh, him doing things like that when in a gallery, you know, and he'd go up behind somebody and say, well, I, I don't know if I really like that picture. What, do, what is your opinion of it? And, and just to get people's reactions. So she, she's very alive and very vivacious and very, very knowledgeable. So we had a great time. This is a picture of Carl Kerner, also known as the German. That's the title of the picture. And uh, he was a neighbor of Andrew Weiss and he painted many pictures of him at Chads Ford, Pennsylvania. And it's a nice picture, and it's a picture I like. But now it's a picture that I understand more, and I really like it, because Victoria Wyeth brought it to life for us. And she said that when her grandfather was painting it, you know, um, he looked at it and he looked, oh, well, yeah, mm -hmm. and it wasn't just quite right. And so he splattered this black ink across the back of it, and he let it drizzle down. And, and the ink came down and it became the trunks of the trees. And here, he didn't like the way the collar quite, wasn't just quite right, so he ripped a piece of the paper off and exposed this white part. And his beard wasn't quite right, so he took some sandpaper and he sanded that off. And these are vital details that Victoria Wyeth knows about the picture and that I never would have known. And she just brings it all to life. And one of the other things that she did that was so exciting, she says that she's heard art historians, they'll talk about a picture and they'll give the symbolism and they'll do this and they'll talk about it. And so she would ask her grandfather, you know, about various things that were said about a particular picture. And he said, well, not necessarily, it, it just was. I just painted it because it was there, or I didn't really think about it. So she has insight into his work that no one else has. So she herself is not an artist, but she is an artwork, and she is a true American gem. We had a wonderful time with her, and if we're lucky, we'll get to see her again. I'm Diane from Mom, 
Pop, pop.